Yeah, hey, uh, I, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my uh, records, but uh, I've, I have, uh, I was arrested last uh, July 2010 in Greenfield, and soon after was told that an investigation was being conducted, and that the mayor said that uh, he would discuss with me the results of that investigation. I was later put in touch with uh, some some of your colleagues at the uh, uh, Massachusetts State Patrol, and uh, I have yet to receive any. Uh, I guess input from that report, and I was just trying to follow up. I have previously spoken. Well, let's, let's start with who this is. Sure, my name is Pete Air E Y R E. Okay, Mr. Air, hang on a second. Okay. Uh, I uh, responded to a phone call you made earlier. Okay. Uh, and I spoke with Adam Bueller, who said you were sitting right there with him. Um, I mean. He and I are together at some times. I, I don't know if I was with him when you called. I don't believe I was. If I, I mean, I'm trying to just call and get some information, so. Okay, so basically I called back the number you gave me. Is that right? Yeah, that, that's his number. That's correct. Okay, well, you called before and left that number, I believe, on my phone. That's correct. Okay, so is it your number or is it his number? Well, that's his number, but I was using his phone at uh, from time to time because my phone had been taken by some. Uh, it was initially taken in in Greenfield by the Greenfield Police Department, so then I got a replacement phone, and then that phone was taken as well. Uh, by this, the, this was like a month ago. Uh, that's correct. I mean, I I hadn't yet uh, had my phone situation figured out, so I was borrowing his phone at the time. Okay, I can tell you one problem, sir, is that. Uh the address you have. And what is your address? Uh, well, I live, I own an RV, so I travel around. I don't really have a permanent address, but... You don't have a permanent mailing address? Uh, I mean, right now I can give you a mailing address that works for me. That's a Keen address. Okay, uh, I can tell you that we sent communications to your address to list on your, your license registration. That's, I believe on the registration, it could be corrected as well. Okay, yeah, that is, uh... That is we received our correspondence back and marked to return to sender no mail receptacle of that address. Okay. I mean, I can give you an address that works for me where I'm at now, if, if that works. Okay, well, I'll tell you. What we need to do is, and, and I, I've, I've spoken to one of the ADA, so I give you folks just had your trial recently. Uh, what we would be happy to do is I'm happy to talk to you. you again, Dan Hable from this office tried to speak to you, but did not make connection with you folks, and he sent your mail, and he uh, reached out to you. On this case, we're happy to hear your complaint. I know what the prosecutors would like me to do is to uh, is to speak in and deal with you primarily through the mail because you folks have apparently a propensity or in the past propensity of secretly recording people, which is a violation of past law. You know that, right? That's what he told me at the start of the phone call. You recording me, right? Uh, again, uh, I'm not being secretive in our conversation today. I was overt in that I'm recording this for my records. Yeah, no, you absolutely are, and then I mean, but you understand that that's that is legal. No, you, you let me know you're being recorded, that's fine. I mean, that's why I... And I don't have a problem talking to you as I'm recording, that's fine. Uh, but they would like us to... Well, hold on, hold on for a second, please. Secret. Hold on for a second, please. You Are you implying that I'm secretive recording you right now? No, you told me that. You told me you were recording me. Okay, and are you implying that I secretly recorded anybody in the past? Because those charges were, were I was found not guilty on. I did not secretly record anybody. So I, I take offense to you levying that accusation at me, sir. I was told by the mayor and by your colleague that the results of the investigatory report would be shared with me, and that's there, there what I'm... There are no results of the investigative report because the officer tried to reach you, sir. I told you that earlier. and was not able to reach you, so I don't know the essence of your complaint. What, what, what is the essence of your complaint? We're happy to look into it, but you have to be able to tell me what the essence of it is. My desire is to obtain a copy of the report that was completed, and I was told that this would happen... There, there, there is no such report that I'm aware of that was completed, sir. But there was an investigation that was done. Sir, the investigation was to start by speaking with you. The officer never spoke with you, sir, and Lieutenant Hale never spoke with you. Or, or at least he didn't get the essence of your complaints at all. I was told last, la over a year ago by William Martin, the mayor, that an investigation was being conducted and that when it was okay. completed, the results would be discussed with me. Then I received a call from your colleague, uh, Mike Hale's... Uh, Mike Cable's predecessor, who uh, who had been in that position before being transferred to another barracks. Mike Cable's predecessor. Okay. Uh, I don't know who you mean. Do you know who he spoke with, sir? 
I mean, I'd have to look through my records, but I spoke I spoke with Mike Cable a number of times as well, and he told me that um, the investigation was still being uh, continued and that he would discuss with me the findings of that investigation. And then I never, uh, you know, was, I had called him dozen, a couple dozen times at least, and he called me back a few times from those uh, last year, and then his responses to me stopped, and so I'm trying to follow up on that now. I mean, are you telling me that an investigation was never done and it was never started? I'm, I'm telling you there's no investigation. That was no investigative report that I'm aware of that was completed. If you're looking for the results, I don't have one for you. Right, but that didn't answer my question. But I am telling you that if you have specific complaints, I'm happy to follow them up with you. Right, that, but that response didn't answer my question, sir. I asked, was an investigation... Let me hear specifically your question. My question is, was an investigation ever started? Uh, it was started and it was never completed because you couldn't talk to you folks. Uh, well, like I mentioned to you previously, I have called, uh, Lieutenant Habel dozens of times, and I made myself available to him, and I was never asked to provide any additional information. I was told merely that when the investigation was done, you guys would contact me with the results. Okay, well, I, all I can tell you is that that's not the information that I have. And apparently you and, or you and Lieutenant Habel have been sort of a disagreement or a misunderstanding between the two of you. So why don't you let me help you with it? And why don't you give me a summary of exactly what your complaints are? And why don't you send it to me and to give me an address and a way to reach you directly? And I will follow up for you. Can I ask what the uh, substance of the investigation being started was then? If if you're saying that hinged on my input? I think it probably stemmed from your complaints. Uh, that you made some web posts, didn't you? Uh, I was... About treatment and conditions? Or did Mr. Mueller, you tell me? I was told by the mayor that the investigation had already been under progress before our arrests, and that our arrests were merely an addition, uh, were merely being looked into as well as part of the investigation. Okay, well, I, I, I'm at a loss exactly what you were looking for with that able to investigate, but I'm happy to help you if I can. And there is no investigative report, so I can't give you that. But if you, if you need assistance or you want assistance, I'm happy to try to give that to you. Okay, and, you're, and I'm speaking with uh, your Tim Bakey, is that correct? No, you are not, sir. You're speaking with Lieutenant Michael Barrett. Michael Barrett, okay. Yeah. And how do you spell your last name? B-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I mean, to, I guess, start at the starting point, last year after I was arrested... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you again. I'd like you to submit your, your, your complaints, and what you'd like to seek in writing. Right, and what I'm trying to explain to you is that when I initiated this whole conversation last year, I was trying to get some accountability, and I was told from the mayor that an investigation was being done previous to my inquiry, and that I would be provided with that information. I was never asked to submit any information, so I'm I'm okay, curious I'm why. You now. That's what I'm asking right, you now. but I'm curious why the investigation. Uh, what were the results of the investigation thus far? My understanding of the investigation was not completed, however much was done, because Lieutenant Hable was not able to make arrangements to meet with you and Mr. Mueller. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty flabbergasted of, about the uh, direction this conversation has taken. I made myself uh, available to, to Mr. Hable. I don't know why you won't let me. If you have a complaint, I'd like to address it. There's right, no but... Risk well, why are you putting the burden on me and not on, on Mr. Habel, who supposedly because was the liaison know between exactly me? What your complaint is. I don't have uh, any note from Lieutenant Habel indicating exactly what it was that your complaint was. My desire is to obtain any information about the investigation that was already being conducted. There is no investigation to give you. I don't have any information to give you. Again, I'd like to help you. But you've already disclosed that an investigation was started, so why not disclose that information because to me? there's nothing to give you. Uh, I don't understand what, what you don't understand. There's no, there's no related paperwork. The investigation was halted until such time as he could make arrangements to speak to you and Mr. Mueller. 
And who who ordered the investigation halted? Who ordered the investigation was halted because he couldn't speak to you and Mr. Mueller. So so Lieutenant, if you had called and made arrangements as he tried to seek you and were given valid addresses by which he could communicate with you, the investigation would have ongoing would have been ongoing. So Lieutenant Habel, sir, that didn't answer my question. Lieutenant Habel stopped the investigation was, by himself. Listen to me. Right, and what I'm trying to, what I have explained to you is that I called him dozens of times, and he very infrequently returned my call. I made myself available, and I was never requested to provide any information, let alone my mailing address. That's, that's not the system why I, he related to me. So all I can do is I can try to help you. Uh, could you disclose the information that was conducted thus far in the investigation, as as was promised to me over a year ago? I guess I'm unclear why the investigation hinged on me when I was told the investigation began. Before. Because you're the other complainant, sir. Sir, so sir if I could finish my question, I would appreciate it. I was told that an investigation had begun before I inquired about it being conducted, and therefore the investigation did not hinge on me or my input. It hinged on other complaints, other rationales for starting it, and that's what I'm interested in learning, why it was begun, what had been uncovered, what, and... Well, I, I can't speak to what third, uh, a third party told you. I can only tell you what I know. So are, are you telling me that the investigation only began after I made contact about it? That the, I can't tell you that. I can only tell you that the investigation did not proceed any further than uh, a preliminary steps because old Hable could not make contact and make arrangements to be with you and Mr. Mueller and take statements from you. Do you have on the paperwork the date that the investigation was started or the reason it was started? Uh, in terms of the date it was started, I can probably give me a date, but, uh, hang on a second. I'm going to go ahead and put you on hold for just a little bit. Can you hold on for just a minute? No problem.